So here's the problem. Um, 4.4c int and owl. Yeah, it's about. And the problem is here to the left, to the right, there's the spreadsheet that I used in class uh, to solve problems like this. So I pulled the information from the problem and I laid it out in the spreadsheet. So here we're given the grams of the water and the carbon dioxide. And this next column, I'm converting the grams to moles of the compound. Get this over moles of compound. So there's 0 0.0823, et cetera, moles of water and 0 0.094, et cetera, moles of CO2. Next column is to determine the moles of uh, the atoms. And, and here we have the moles of hydrogen. In this case, we're multiplying two times the moles of the moles of water. Because there's two hydrogens for every water. So the moles of hydrogen is twice 0 0.0823, et cetera. So it's 0 0.164, seven. The moles of carbon is the same as the moles of CO2 because there's one carbon for every CO2. So the moles here is 0 0.09411. Next, we're going to propose, uh, we'll, we determine the simplest ratio. Propose the simplest ratio by um, laying out again the moles of carbon and the moles of hydrogen. Okay, I wrote in reverse because I carbon usually comes first in the formula. But anyway, so the moles of carbon is 0 0.0941 and the moles of hydrogen is 0 0.167, 1647. Then what I do is I'm all, I to determine the simplest ratio, I begin by dividing um, both of these mole values by the smallest number, which is 0 0.0941. So if we look here, uh, it's G61, which is the cell I'm on. I'm sorry, this cell divided by itself, excuse me. So um, I have four that to lock that cell in place. I drag down the cell, and now I'm dividing. 0.1647 by 0.0941. I get 1.75. Um, now, the problem is here is we point, uh, 1.75 is not a whole number, so we have to sort of up the ante, so to speak. We have to multiply this this proposed ratio by a whole number to sort of determine the least whole number ratio. So I'm going to set up a multiplier here. Ratio multiply, I'm going to move over. I'm going to propose it to be 4. So I'm going to multiply this 1 by a 4 to get 4, and the 1.75 by a 4 to get 7. So that's what these columns here are about. Okay? So 1 times 4, and 1.75 times 4. So this looks real nice, because now I have whole numbers. So the empirical formula is C487. So I type that in here, C487, and that looks good. Then the, um, the molecular formula is uh, determined by um, comparing the molecular weight of the actual formula, which is 110. So the molecular weight formula is 110. The empirical weight formula is 55. The molecular weight is twice the empirical weight, so that means the molecular formula has to be twice the number of atoms, so it's C8H14.